This video will walk you through the setup process to add a sensor to PRTG to monitor the CPU usage on your PaperCut NG or PaperCut MF server utilizing the system health monitoring URLs. If you need help with getting PRTG installed and set up, please click below to view our introduction to system health monitoring and PRTG setup video. Setting up your sensor is easy. Let's start from our PRTG dashboard, selecting paper cut from the left hand menu and then selecting the add sensor button. Then from the sensor selection screen, search for XML. For all of our paper cut system health monitoring, we will be using the HTTP XML rest value sensor. Give your sensor a name, I'm going to call mine Papercut CPU Usage. Next up, we'll need to enter our system health monitoring URL. I'm going to jump across to Papercut to get this. I'll start by logging into the admin interface. Then selecting options, followed by advanced then scrolling down to the System Health Monitoring section. I'm going to copy the sample URL included in Papercut and copy this across to a new tab. Then copying the same URL, I'm going to carry this across to PRTG. We then need the particular XML node which we want to monitor. Let's jump back over to Papercut to find this. Pasting the URL in the new tab has shown me the system health monitoring information and I can find the system CPU load percentage, which I will copy and paste into the PRTG sensor creation. That's everything we need to do, so select continue. The sensor has now been created, we just need to wait for some data to come in. Next up is to create some limits for this value so we know what an error looks like. I'm going to select the values option in the table and then scroll down and enable the limits option. We can now set up an upper error limit as well as an upper warning limit. I'm going to set 90% for the error and 80% as the warning. I don't need a lower warning so I will just enter zero. Finally, I can then add in the messages I want to be displayed and sent in the event of one of these values being reached. After configuration, hit OK. You can now see we have a better visual representation of the levels. Now, I'm going to want to send out notifications if any of these warning or error levels are reached. So let's click on notifications and get this set up now. You can see the default notifications which we mentioned in our setup video, but I'm going to create a specific notification for this sensor to tell me when the warning error state has been reached. I will set up this notification to be triggered at 80%, and if this remains for 10 minutes, then an error message will be sent to the administrator. That concludes our video on setting up a sensor to monitor the CPU usage on your Papercut server. Check out our videos below for instructions on setting up some of the other popular sensors.